overall goal of my lab is to take observations that we know are true in MS patients and try to uh, understand them at the laboratory level to figure out why certain things happen, why females are more susceptible than males are, why males tend to do worse, um, why aging is bad for MS. So there are a lot of things we know clinically. We want to figure those things out at the laboratory bench because when we do, we can come up with a, a means to reverse those things. In MS, we uh, take a, a model of the disease, a particular aspect of it, and we try to figure it out and we'll determine gene expression across various parts of the brain. So we look at gene expression in one part versus another versus another to see which uh, area of the brain is having different gene expression that leads to different disabilities like walking or vision or cognition. If we can figure out this difference in gene expression, we think we can come up with new targets addressing a specific disability uh, tailored for men and women uh, with, with, again, one disability at a time. Much of the field of MS has focused on the immune system, which I've studied for many years too, but we now have over 20 treatments for MS and they all target immune cells in the blood or their migration or homing to the brain. So what we're doing at UCLA is we're actually focusing on the brain. We base everything we do on clinical observations. It, you know, I don't want to study something that's not relevant to the MS patient, the human condition. We're just not going to do that. So we always base what we do on the things I see in the clinic, we know that are true in patients. I think it's an extremely hopeful time. You know why? Because the best measure of what will happen is what has happened.